Okay, perfect. Yeah, so just hit the green button and let's just start start from scratch. So we'll just run a simple page like ad engagement page likes and then just what I do over here is I'll, I'll name all three of them right here. So hit engagement and then page likes and then just scroll down and hit that drop down and just name everything right here. I name all on the page like ad. I'll just name them all, all through the same page like or like campaign like campaign like I just name all the same. Okay. Or in, unless you're, you know, in the ad set, you can always name, you know, the countries I'm that you're going to name page likes in the ad set in the ad. Yeah. Or pay, I'm going to just say, I don't know. That's I don't know fine. why I like to just make it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Cool. So over here, yeah, the second step, the ad set. So actually this is the first step. So just scroll down and then, um, you could just go next. So if you're in housing or anything else, else like that, you got to hit the special ad category. But if not, mm -hmm. then just go to the next step. Okay, uh, cool. So down here. Is this fine? Whatever yeah, this that's is. Fine. Right no, that's fine. Okay. So you can go, um, unlike, unlike campaigns, I norm normally go lifetime budget, but it's up to you. You can, it's the same dollar amount. It's just spent, you know, differently over time. Yeah. Over time. So. How much day, does it, uh, what does he say? It's like, what, like 30 bucks or something like that? Yeah. I mean, you can go 30 bucks, 20, 25, 30. I mean, you, oh, the, the most, the most I would put towards this ever. And, and I always look at the like ad as a one-time ad. Like you can either put a super low budget and let it continuously run. Just let it run for like as long as you need it as wanted to like months, for example, like three months, for example, but have it at a super low budget. That way, Facebook is, is, is you're constantly running an ad, right? But it's super low budget, like two bucks a day, three bucks a day type of type of budget. Or you could just freaking do it once and get it out the way. Yeah. And, 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 and two reasons why this like ad is so important is number one is, is so that like number can have a comma and bring some credibility to the page. But then number two, so Facebook can hit that credit card. You know, that's, that's normally the first transaction. You want Facebook to, to smash that credit card at least once or twice um, before you even jump into conversion ads. So that's why, that's why even Robbie, he'll, he'll, that's why he starts everyone off this way. So, so Facebook can, can read that credit card the first time and then, and then the threshold can increase and then you can go into conversions, mm -hmm. you know, so. Uh, yeah, I think I, I mean, as long as if I just do this once and then I can just boost posts in order to keep yeah, for Facebook sure. liking me. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so just go, yeah, 30 bucks. That's yeah. fine. 25 bucks, whatever. So um, change the calendar date. So it's okay in, that it says this right here. Yeah. Cause or we're going to change the calendar date. Oh, okay. So when you change, I always, when I start the like ad, I'll always go the next day. So yeah, the 23rd, but I'll start it at midnight. Okay. So 12 AM. So midnight for me, at least here would be like one or just do it for Eastern time. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So um, you can go 1 a.m. Yeah, that's fine. And then just um, this is totally up to you. You can you can knock it all out in the next few days if you wanted to. You can knock it out in a week. You can run it for two weeks. This, told, this part's totally up to you. It's still going to spend the same dollar. It's going to still bring the same amount of likes. Yeah, I think I can just do it till April. What is April 1st? The same when is March 23rd? Yeah. It's on Tuesday. And what I always do, man, just, just, this is just preference, but I, I I'll run it to, to my billing date, you know, like whenever my billing date is, if your billing dates, you know, the 31st, for example, then run it to the 31st, you know, uh, then, where do I go to see my specific billing date? Um, go ahead and go to that events manager tab at the top events manager. Okay. Go, open up. The, no, 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 no. Leave this, leave this, oh, this the tab, the tab yeah, yeah. events manager, and then just hit your dots and go to um, billing. So just hit the, hit the dots, go to billing. And then you'll you'll see your date over here. So hit payment settings. And then you should see it right here. Um, so yeah, so the 31st. So you'll be charged each time. See, so your threshold right now, so that's what that's why the like ad is so important because right now your threshold is only two bucks. So um you'll be Where charged. Do you see that? Right at the top of Mount Dew. Oh, uh, okay. So in the thirty first um, one. Yeah. So you'll be charged for you'll be charged every two bucks. And I think it's I think it's maybe the first like I think it's the first like five to seven transactions. So oh, okay. 
so, so, so which I mean, hop relatively quickly with this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, you want that to to hit that way your threshold increases, and then yeah, and then you'll get another bill on the thirty first. So that's just how I run it. I'll run it to the end of the billing cycle, and then. No, yeah, that makes sense. Start a new uh, after that. Okay, so uh, um, one a.m. One a.m. to one a.m. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. and then and then just scroll down, and then. Um, all you're going to do is just change out the locations. Um, yeah, change yeah, that out. And, and, and what he advises is, is focus on, on, on the top five countries. I go, yeah. Yeah. I Australia, go right, Canada. But, yeah. Australia. Yeah. I always end up forgetting one for some reason. Let's see if you, if you know them all. <laughs> Oh, sorry, New Zealand, mm -hmm. and then uh, the UK. There it is. There, perfect. Cool. So, one, two, three, four, five. Those are your top five countries. Um, and then um, scroll down. And what I mm -hmm. what I do is um, I'll change out the the English the language and just go English all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. English all. And then um, in the detailed targeting, what I do, what I do, and I've, I've, I've done this like at a million and one times, what I do is I choose just one keyword in, in different examples with, even with, with Robbie in the, in the course, he'll put a few different words. He'll put like five different keywords in there, but I've had major, you know, a ton of success with just one major keyword. So the main, main keyword, you know, which would be health or maybe fitness, um, wellness like whatever that main umbrella word is for your business for your niche i should say mm -hmm. you know maybe go off of that word you can and, and you could put as many as you you could put a few in there do a i think there, there's a magazine called women's health I just oh yeah women's up. health for sure but but rather than see yeah. so now you're now you're a little narrow with yeah. the like ad you don't need to be too too narrow you're already narrowing it in with the language you're already narrowing it in with just five countries you don't really need oh, that's to only narrow 17 in. million yeah is that a little too low I wouldn't narrow in the interest. I would, I would leave a general. So again, <coughs> women's health magazine versus health or versus women's health, right? Like I would, oh, yeah, I just put in women's health and that was still a little. So if you went with, okay, well, that seems pretty large, which what well, look at, look at health and wellness, scroll down health and wellness. See what see it's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. So that's the difference. So, um, well, this was higher. Do I want it to be? No, no, that's that's ten million. This one's two hundred and forty-three million. I thought this said five hundred and ten million. Oh, I thought you saw ten. Look, oh, I'm looking at ten. Holy shit! I didn't even see the five. I'm looking at ten million. I thought it was ten million. <laughs> oh, you thought it was like a dollar sign or something? I thought it was a dollar sign. Yeah, you know, I was like ten million. <laughs> I wish. Eight hundred and sixty-three thousand. Yeah, I thought it was ten million. That's funny. Okay, well then, shit. Health magazine. Pff, yeah, well that's a no-brainer. Go with that yeah. one. Then. Yeah, perfect. But again, so you could totally so then now you can hit suggestions and see a bunch of keywords. But again, I've 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 only used one. Actually, there ain't no suggestion. That's kind of it's weird. just a like ad. I'm not really yeah, yeah, that's one. That's one keyword. That's fine. So yeah. right here, um, you don't need to add a connection type, that's fine. And then that um down what is this connection type? I don't feel like I've seen it before. That's simply if you hit the drop down, it'll say people who like your page, people who or exclude people who currently like your page, but I mean, your page is brand new. So yeah, it's not even necessary. So um, this right here, existing connections, you can just, um, the following connections can be only removed from your ad set. So convert connections before publishing people who like, yeah, you can just X that out. That's not even, you don't even need that. So now that brings us to automatic. So you'll just leave it on automatic and then hit next. That's it. Okay, cool. So um, over here, that's a pretty cool image right there. What is that? Your cover photo? Yeah, yeah. That's actually a pretty cool image right there. Like, that's no, yeah, I, I didn't have a specific image already, so I let's. Yeah, I'm fine with that if you like. Yeah, it. that's actually a really good image. Normally, it looks like shit, but that's actually a really good image. So, okay. um, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, dude, for sure. I love that. So, what I would do, if if anything, just change out the text. Um, mm -hmm. I would I would shorten it up for sure, and um. The same one liner that I've used for for real estate, you can I, you could totally use for this. Um, I I I say in the real estate side, actually I used it in many different niches now, but really in, in the real estate side, 
in this case, I would put love, love, health, and wellness, like, page, and share. Love, it's a question. Love, health, and yeah. wellness, like, page, and share. Yeah, so capital each, each word for sure. Love, health, and wellness, like, page, and then the and sign, the actual symbol. That's just what I've done a million times, the, the and sign. So like, page, and share. No, oh, the, um, oh, okay. The, yeah, yeah, I was like, at the end, that doesn't really make any there sense. <laughs> no. Love, health, and wellness, like, page, you. and share, and then exclamation mark. And that's it. So what I, what I also do is I'll turn off web of, website events, but I mean, I don't think it matters, but um, it's not necessary. It's just a like ad, but scroll down and that's, that's it. So um, yeah, you can leave those on. So publish. And then once you publish it, then um, you could take a look at what it, you could take a, a look at what it, you know, looks like in the newsfeed. So if you hit that drop down mm -hmm. a little above, just move your cursor up that little drop down that square to the right. Square this right here. No, Somewhere you're here. right where you're right there to the right. By this? the images, no, to the right by the images. Oh, oh sorry. So that drop down right there, hit that drop down and then go to desktop newsfeed, Facebook desktop newsfeed, down Facebook desktop newsfeed. Yeah, click on that and then you'll see it here, um, what it looks like in, in real time. Okay, just scroll down. It should be right below this one. There we go. Okay. okay. So, yeah, yeah, so not bad at all, man. Love, health, and wellness, like, page, and share. And then there's the like but the like page, call to action button, and mm -hmm. that's it, man. Fit with soul. I love that, dude. Really cool. Awesome. Really, okay, really cool. cool. Yeah. Is it okay well, if what? I uh, exit out of this one specifically? or? Yeah, you can, you can exit out of that one and, and let that thing go. So if you exit out of this, just not the tab, not the tab, but the X to the left. Yeah. X out of this, and then I'll just bring you back over here. So, um this one will be in review, but if you click on the, the middle tab, the ad set, you'll see that mm -hmm. scheduled. This should already be scheduled. And then and then the campaign is already scheduled. So you'll get an yeah, email. I want to see what happens. Maybe it is that I needed to run a light campaign first, or maybe I just don't need it at all. I've just been yeah, that, so that stressed be, out about this. That could that could be that could be one 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 reason. Maybe the yeah, actually I don't I don't see how that could be a reason. First. I don't see how that could be a reason um, at all. I don't either. All. I just don't know like what else it is that it could possibly be. I mean, yeah. I, I should have done everything correctly. Like I have everything. I I, I mean, I followed taking, you know, great notes and like yeah. really gone through and, and watch all of this. But I don't know. I thought maybe if I just did one thing wrong, I don't know what it would be. Yeah, let's start with the like ad, um, target those countries and then and then go from there. Yeah.